It's giving her no. It's giving her, are you fucking kidding me? We said no. What's up, y'all? It's me to here, Savannah, an activist for Black Lives Matter. Let me give you a quick background because this video is going to go multiple places. What up? I graduated from LIU CW Post, a white university, back in 2010. In 2013, when they killed Trayvon Martin, I used my social media platforms, Facebook at the time, now Meta, Instagram at the time, now owned by Meta, what up? To share in things about Black Lives Matter, right? My husband's tuned in right now. He was an actor. He portrayed Trayvon Martin in a scene. People were just wearing hoodies. Just trying to tell you how long we've been talking about the same shit. That was 2013. It was under the President Obama. President Obama was the same person that I voted for the first time when I was able to vote. That was in CW Post. It was white professors that told me and all my friends that we have to be a part of this, whatever's happening. I was like, what, 20 years old, I think, 21 years old? Whatever. On Saturday, there was an attempt at assassination on the president of the United States, not the majority president, but Hillary Clinton was the majority, but the president that won that election through electoral college, which brings us back to slavery. My name is T. Slaves. I started rapping as T. Slaves back in 2020, before the pandemic. On May 25th, 2020, a black person in Minneapolis died on camera. His name was George Floyd. The president at the time was Donald Trump. He called for the Black Lives Matter protesters, people like me, to be shot. Can't you just shoot them? Shoot them in their legs? He went on further to show up on what is now known as Black Lives Matter Plaza, holding the Bible with Kaylee McEnany at the time. Mm -hmm. She was talking at the RNC this morning, too, on Fox. Uh -huh. She also had to speak to Liz Cheney about January 6th. Mm -hmm. January 6th happened in 2021, by the way. A year after this. He said that he wanted protesters to be shot. In 2017, people like me were deemed black identity extremists by the Trump now DOJ. Remember Jeff Sessions? He was the AG underneath Donald Trump. You know how many different laws that they put off the books that Obama put to protect people? People who look like me? Remember Dylan Roof? He's on death row for killing the people in Charlotte, Charlotte, not Charlottesville, Charlottesville. That's a different person. In Charleston. I'm like, wait, what am I talking about? In Charleston. That happened under President Obama as well. At the time, Dylan Roof went to pray with the people in the church. The media came out to say he's not a white supremacist until pictures of him on his social media showed Nazi propaganda, all kinds of white supremacist propaganda, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I'm gonna I'm a, I'm a share a different asset for you guys because all this fucking pussyfooting fucking shit around coming from the South, these fucking black people that go to eight black, black schools and whatever, y'all need to come up off it. You're not paying attention in a serious way. Maybe it's a key key for you, but it's not. When you're really back on plantations, and we have to revert the whole uh, Underground Railroad again so we can bring y'all niggas back up to the north. What up? In 2016, the Trump campaign, along with the Tea Party at the time, why Hillary Clinton had to deal with the Russian bots, she still won the popular vote. The people that were Trump was on his side. I think it was the, um, not the, not Axos. This is Axos. What's the guy's name at the time? He came up the other day too. The Roger Stones and all those fucking people. The guy who runs the, who had the Sandy Hook Elementary, like, hoax. All those people in the beginning of the Trump days. Remember, a lot of them are gone. Like, Giuliani literally got disbarred from New York City a week ago 
he was the 9-11 fucking mayor. Like, you know what I mean? Just, everybody's falling from grace. As I'm just growing up. 9-11 happened, I was 14 years old. Not so far where I'm standing right now. This is New York City, we in Brooklyn. In 2016, the Trump people actively, because Hillary Clinton lost to Pennsylvania, the town in which the shooter comes from and his family, the shooter's parents were one of the people that Channel 4 News and other people were trying to see why was Trump and the Trump team, the Kaylee McEnany's of the world, going after the proest gun rightists of the Americans, us that they were here. Why did they target those people? For the Make America Great Again campaign. Why would the cooks, crooks, crooks, why were the crooks targeted? At the time in 2016, the, kill, the kid who they killed on Saturday had to be 16. So it's his parents, because he's 20 now. So four years ago, no, more, let, lower than that. He had to be like 12. He's a 12 year old growing up with parents who were MAGA supporters. He's not, maybe, maybe, maybe so, maybe not. But this is how we get to where we at now. Everybody's skipping over the story. You know, we're storytellers. Why they gonna put us back in Hollywood? It's like, you wanna tell stories? Stay in, in fucking LA and get out of here. Hollywood's not a real place neither. It's the land of make believe. But you have to tell the story for shit to make sense. You know, the way they try to piece up the, the conversation, why people like me usually just walk, is because I put it all in comprehensiveness, right? It's like, Analysis, 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 and now put it all together so that you have something to say. You can't say the person that started the violence and now went after the people who wanted to do guns also is the person that can now stop us. No, he created this. The smartest thing for the GOP to have done on Sunday was to take him off their ticket. Put somebody who's trying to change the gun laws at the very beginning. Even they're going to put him back later. Don't let him be the face of the changing of violence as he's still pending a RICO case in, in, in Georgia. As black people in this country still die under Black Lives Matter type situations with the cops and everything in our, in our neighborhoods. Just minding our fucking everyday business. Now they're going after Appalachia, the cold people, the dope sick. Sounds like to me for a person that understands how white people is gotta come from their school. When you're not smart, you try to move with numbers. In power. I don't care. Like we say all the time. Hitler had millions. Jesus had 12. Right? Seems like Jesus is like, well, he's not popular. So I guess if Jesus was walking today by himself, would any of us even fucking notice? Not to say that I'm like Jesus, but that's the line that I'm starting to fall to. Because it's like, it's not the popular opinion, but it's the opinion that makes the most sense. Because I'm just using the facts to create my opinion. This is just what happened. If you're sitting around waiting for black people or Black Lives Matter activists or motherfuckers who voted for Obama to actually care about what happened on Saturday, you've missed the last fucking years of how we even got to Saturday. And that's what we've been trying to say. You could put it on us if you want in the media. Again, black people don't own any media. I'm trying to be one of those, which is also why I'm blocked. I'm a teacher. I teach history. It's all out here. You can't say the people who started the party, who paid for all the liquor, are also not the same people responsible for the people who died because they were junk and there were guns. And, you know what I mean? It doesn't work like that. I studied crime. I did my internship at the Kings County DA's office. It does not add up. When Hitler and them were building the Reich, which is all the information that's coming out about cults and every time you turn around there's a new cult because the media, Hollywood, is trying to tell people, pay the fuck attention to what's happening right now. Everybody in their own little life is trying their best to be like, all right, let me put, put this out there. Me, I'm like, let me teach people how to read since we see that it's an educational problem. Uh, Biden's wife is a fucking teacher. Melania is, um... Hillary Clinton had to deal with the Rush, Russian bot. Um... So, as much as they're trying to make it like, what's the big deal? Bitch, you're not voting. You're not paying attention. That is the big deal. All this shit happened right under your fucking nose. They're deleting people from the fucking voting records. Imagine the lines in 2020 that we have to stand on to vote early. Imagine what they're about to be now. It's already hot. It's a climate situation. They don't want you to think about climate. Think about it. But that's what it is, too. They don't want you to think about it. So if they keep throwing shit. Oh, my God. Every time you can even fucking reload some shit, more shit coming. Learn to separate it. Slow it down. Here. Take it in. I'm not saying, nope, don't pay attention because I listen to the news like looping. When I hear to see people come back, it's like, oh, okay. They reset the news. 
On Saturday, they literally had nobody to report nothing, and everybody was still talking. But we don't have any information three days later, yet there's, like, fucking mad TV people on TV. What the fuck are y'all saying then? Y'all was just talking shit. Okay, well, we on Twitter doing the same shit. An Elon Musk company. Pay attention to the packs. Pay attention to the people who are... I mean, like, anybody that I see with, like, army kind of... I'm just like, keep your eyes fucking open. You know, I'm trained as like a cop. Pay attention to the people that's like, wait, what? Come from Long Island, you know? It's like, yeah. Make sure you guys are paying attention. And stop thinking that fucking black people give a fuck about any of this shit. Because like we said before, John Lewis Day is like, what, tomorrow? It's given 60 years since we even had the right to even be in this conversation. Okay, <laughs> like, let's, let's just be real. I'm 37. So, you know what I mean? Don't act like there's people. My grandma, you know what I mean? Like, let's just not. Let's just not do this. Because I see a lot of y'all, black people too, are doing it. And it's like, maybe just stop here. Go and make sure your grandma and your grandpa and them have the same rights that you got today. Still, and then you start there. Let them do what they want to do. Like back on January 6th.